Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jack TV, and I'm here with the Amatory Murder, and we're here at the Steampunk Con 2019 by Vampire Freaks. How you guys doing? <coughs> Pretty good. Pretty cool, nice. cool. Now you guys insisted we do this interview right here. Why is that? We just we just love this room. <laughs> <laughs> that number means that a lot. That number means a lot. <laughs> so you want to tell us about the band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're New York New York band, East Coast band, uh, alternative rock, Nine Inch Nails influence. Depeche Mode, Muse, Muse Typo, Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd. Ooh, um, little Typo, little Typo. And we love playing music. A little, bit separate, a little yeah. eclectic bunch. Yeah, that's cool. A bunch of misfits that don't work well together, but we do somehow. Yeah, yeah we want to kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, we, but we play well together. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing the band for? Oh, well, that's, a, that's a different story for rough, each of us. That's actually. a rough question. That's actually. a toughest question. Yeah. Yeah, I started it as a, a project in, in a basement. And it was just me um, and a drum machine, some guitars, synthesizers, and I slowly built it up from there. Um, I think you were the first one, and then was it, by the way, like it was actually in here, like in uh, in New Jersey. In this yeah, room. it actually yeah it did start in Piscataway, New Jersey, oh, uh, wow. in a house in a in a basement. Um, That's funny. And then I met Scott, and he became the live drummer. And then no, you didn't. No. You, you met me first. I met you first. <laughs> okay. See, <laughs> see this folks, is, this, this is what this happens. is what we deal yeah. with. <laughs> 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 we can't even agree on that. No, but uh, yeah. we all, it was me first. I think I think the four of us have been together for like three years, right? Uh, the three of us uh, going on about two actually. No. Three. Okay. We no, can't even do numbers. No, it's three. <laughs> Like okay. Four of us is two freaking years. <laughs> <guys>. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I joined in uh, like late 2016. Yeah, and then, but that's not four years. And then the first show was like maybe still talking about the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's the next question? What's <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this uh, one-off show tour, um, we've we've done Dark Side of the Con a few times, and Jet, hello Jet. He asked us to play this steampunk, so um, yeah, this, this is this is one off. But we do tour, and we're looking we're looking into what's coming through that we might we we, we want to like hop on someone else's tour like as an opener maybe, because mm -hmm. um, it it seems to work. seems to seems to work. Mm -hmm. It's hard it's hard to to make a name for yourself these days. Like, yeah, yeah, you know. With all the noise. Playing with festivals and stuff yeah. that really helps. But stuff like this is a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like playing with other bands and and you know. Meeting people. And when we do this, it's like bands that we don't usually get to play with. Yeah, it's it's pretty eclectic for us. So, yeah, steampunk con. Do you guys feel yeah. like you fit into that genre? Decently? Yes and no. It's a, yeah, it's right? a, like we don't really fit into any genre. We, we really don't. We have like some dark elements, you know, which I think <coughs> we're always like on the out. We're always on the outs outside of all these kind of scenes. But whenever we're asked to play, we usually. We fit in, all right. Yeah, it yeah, makes like, sense. <laughs> like sonically, well, if we're more, I guess you could say, raw than mm -hmm. the others, because like a lot of the sound, like with most of the acts here, are, like very polished. Mm -hmm. But we we have a mixture of, I guess, a polished raw sound. Uh, if that makes any sense, right? Yeah. No, yeah. no. I don't it know if all the other acts. Where are we going to agree on that either? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say all the acts here are polished, but like not not that that's bad. No, I'm just, I'm just saying sonically, like there's like difference. Yeah, it makes sense. He has a very big penis. Did I tell you that? <laughs> yeah. He has a very big, like, No, hunk. tell him how you know that. What? <laughs> 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 no, we did this one tour, and I remember... <laughs> <laughs> we were, it was like somewhere like... Del I'm not, was, I'm not a part of this. No, I think we were... I remember, like, I remember like, 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 he got up and he I'm showered. I'm not part of this. He was showering. This is not... I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't think you Let me tell the story about Scott's hunk. <laughs> then we, he was he was showering and then I woke up but he left the door open and he and he must have come out of the shower and he was standing in the mirror just looking at himself oh my with his God. dom just yeah. and he looked so <laughs> proud he, he was like proud of it too all right so well, he has a, got a big dick and a small dick yeah so that's good he's got he's got a huge mule a very healthy Why did you mule open this door I up I don't no, he didn't speaking know. of doors what does two or eight mean all right now we gotta tell him we we, we have a song called uh, Room Two O Eight. Oh, and we performed on. actually. Well, we have two songs. It's like part one and part two. We performed them tonight actually. Yeah. It was a story here two years ago. Long story. Long, long story short, this room was basically like we had a very good time. We had. <laughs> <laughs> let's just put it that way. It was a lot of we hotel parties are fun. 
I wasn't there though. Yeah. No, you weren't. Yeah. This was, uh, you guys didn't book this room tonight. <laughs> no, I'm no, not staying no, here. No, yeah, we're, we're not staying here, but um, it's something that I'd like to do again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. hotel festivals and cons are awesome. Yeah. You're gathering everyone in the same place. It's yeah. so cool. Like you can like go up and take a shit and then come back down. <laughs> <laughs> I just mean, yeah, everyone hanging out. With yeah, the it's, band, it's, it's all it's and drinking. I was worried about driving. I, I, was, I was here last night. I had a, I had a great time. Uh, I was hanging out with Chris Smack, great DJ, mm -hmm. um, and his lovely girlfriend Ashley, and uh, they were just just dancing to music, having a yeah. good time, and you know, all these these people with these great costumes. It's like so much fun to see people feel uninhibited in in, in these situations, doing what they want to do. You know, you, you were here last night. Yes, I was. I was at Ethel's. You were at Ethel's? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're big burlesque fans, so. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Logan, Dandy, so all, all these places yeah. in Manhattan, they're bringing up. Yeah. yeah. That and Swallow. What's that question? That and Swallow. 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 Another album that's going to be divided into two EPs because it's going to tell a story. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah. yeah. Can I ask what type of story? Or? Um, ask him. He writes the lyrics. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, tentatively, it's called uh, Sagan's Warning after mm -hmm. after Carl Sagan, um, and it's kind of all about how humanity is is kind of turning into almost like these cyborgs. Um, what's this guy's name? Elon Musk. Elon Musk, Elon Elon Musk said cool. that like we're almost we're almost there. We're almost cyborgs. Like you, we have these phones and like it's 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 all the singularity. Yeah, singularity. Yeah, singularity. 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 Yeah, and that's I think that's the scariest thing in the world. The singularity. And, and um, you know, Carl Sagan kind of warned about uh, this other things like war and all that and how <clears> we got to you know, take care of the planet and humanity. And and we don't seem to be doing that. Um, so it's kind of it's kind of along those lines. So spreading that message to people. Yeah, and it and it tells it tells a story. Um, the the protagonist is kind of like self destructing throughout, you know. And then he at the end of it, he kind of he kind of has a realization. That's the end of part one, and then part two will kind of pick up from there. Well, that's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's a pretty easy message for the viewers to pick up on. I hope so. <laughs> you know, I hope so. I mean, some <coughs> sometimes I'm surprised with the stupidity of people <laughs> not, not to sound holier than now but it's like people are not stupidity but they're so locked in they're, they're locked into like the matrix the matrix, the matrix yeah, yeah you know yeah. so it's um it's it's along those lines you know cool. it's which is a little a little more relevant and mature for us i think because cool. you know we, we've sang enough about graveyards and you know, <laughs> i'm just singing about graveyards i'm just singing about graveyards yeah. <laughs> yeah. what's your favorite graveyard uh, Greenwood Cemetery. So Brooklyn, place New York. is awesome. It's beautiful. I was just there recently myself. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. And they do. It's cool. Uh, if I, I if I ever my future wife, I want to marry there. So whoever she is. I've never been to Greenwood. <laughs> You've never been to Greenwood? No. My favorite cemetery is the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. We have a song called Eleanor, where it takes place in Greenwood Cemetery. <laughs> it's it's basically um, if you're good. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All good. Didn't want to interrupt. Have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's uh, if Eleanor Rigby from the Beatles song mm -hmm. was like a, a modern day goth girl hanging out in Greenwood Cemetery. You know, well, you're gonna have to go now. Yeah, yeah. I'm meaning to. He's <laughs> 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 made it really weird. Video or something. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. I've been telling him we got to shoot a music video for Eleanor for years, and he just won't listen to it. We, we did a little. You guys have some music thing. videos? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. What are some of those for people to look up? Uh, we have you and I. The Deadliest Rose. The Deadliest Deadliest you Rose. and I. Um, the haunting. Haunting. Different frequency. Diff oh, yes. wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's another one I'm trying to. No, we have a, we have one in the works, the lyric one. But that's not until way later. Did we hear something else? I feel well, like one was a single. Oh, my nightmare. Yeah, that was like a single yeah, that was song. A single, yeah. That was a few years ago. Um, so you had a bunch of material. Yeah, thing. and you can see like the lineup changes throughout, yeah. you know, throughout the chronology of everything. Cool. Yeah. So then basically if people want to find you online, look you up, find these videos, where do they do that? Oh, YouTube. Uh, YouTube. Theamatorymurder.com. Um, we're on Twitter at Amatory Murder. We're on Instagram at The Amatory Murder. We're on Facebook. Facebook. Uh, YouTube.com slash The Amatory Murder. Yeah. So all over social media. And if you, if you want to buy our stuff, go to Bandcamp because we get all the profits. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah.
Oh, it was good talking with you guys. Oh, Everybody looked them up. Rock and roll. Thank you.